There's a story here about King Jehoshaphat. Now, in the Old Testament, during the reign of the kings, after King David, when his son Solomon reigned, Israel was unified as one nation. But because of what Solomon did, God took the kingdom away from him and divided it up and, he, and, and split the kingdom into two. So you have the kingdom of Judah and then the larger kingdom of Israel. Okay, just, just to give you some history for those of you that might not know, we're in the book of, of Second Chronicles here, which is recording the different kings during this time period. There's two kingdoms. Second Chronicles 18, verse number 1, the Bible says, Now Jehoshaphat had riches and honor in abundance and joined affinity with Ahab. So he made this, this treaty with, he made, he made this, um, you know, an affinity of saying, you know, if someone attacks you, you know, we got your bag. If, you, you know, if someone attacks us, you know, this, this alliance, right? Now, Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah. And in the Old Testament, typically the kings of Judah were more righteous, more godly. They were following the Lord. And the kings of Israel were more wicked. Now, in this specific example, Jehoshaphat was a righteous, godly king. He was a good man, according to the Bible. I mean, he, was, he was doing right things. He was following the Lord. And he had a heart to serve God. But Ahab was an extremely wicked king. And Ahab was the king of Israel. Jehoshaphat made this alliance with them. Look at verse number 3. It says, And Ahab, king of Israel, said unto Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, Wilt thou go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And he answered him, I am as thou art, and my people is thy people, and we will be with thee in the war. So Ahab now is involved in a war. And he's saying, Hey, look, I'm at war. We've got an alliance. Come help me out. Right? Are you going to stand with me? Are you going to fight for me? Of course. We've got an alliance. You know, my people are thy people. We'll, we'll go and help you out. So they go. He fights the battle. Ahab dies in the battle. Okay? Jehoshaphat comes back. Look at uh, chapter 19 now. Because we're not going to go through all the battle and everything like that. It describes the battle and everything that happened. And how treacherous Ahab was anyways, because Ahab was the one who wanted Jehoshaphat to get all the attention because they knew they were after him. And Ahab's the one who disguised himself when he went into the battle, so he didn't appear like the king. But um, look at verse number 1 of chapter 19. Jehoshaphat returns, right? Verse number 1. And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, so this is the prophet of God coming out to rebuke Jehoshaphat, shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. So for this reason, the king decided to get involved and to make an alliance with a wicked king who, by the way, was the king of Israel. Jehoshaphat said, I stand with Israel. I am pro-Israel. I am for Israel. He helps them in their battle, in their fight. He comes home. The prophet of God says, shouldest thou help the ungodly? Because you did this, because you joined an alliance with a wicked king and a wicked nation, wrath is upon you from God. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want God's wrath upon us. I don't want God's wrath upon us. Now, it's going to happen the more wicked we get, but when we have every political leader saying, I stand with Israel, guess what? Israel hasn't changed. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. The people in Israel today deny the Lord Jesus Christ. I hate to break it to you. Right? It might be shocking to you. But the people over there, they, you know, by and large, I'm not saying 100% every single person, but as a, as a nation as a whole, they reject the Lord Jesus Christ. They are anti-Christ. If we have a leader that says, I am going to do, you know, I stand with Israel. They're saying, I stand with the ungodly. God's attitude of helping the ungodly has not changed. 
and God's wrath will be upon us. I do not endorse people that's going to bring God's wrath on this nation.